kill. Triple kill. Overkill. Nice, Half their stories they be made up. I can't believe in cap tragedies. Hey, what is good, amigos? It is I, Traj, and today we have some Halo Infinite content. Um, I wanted to get right into the controller settings. If you guys are anything like myself, when you first started playing Halo Infinite, you just thought something fell off. The default settings, you know, they, they set you up for failure. And it's quite easy to get triggered using these settings. It just feels different. Something doesn't feel right, especially compared to old Halos and even Splitgate or other shooters. It just feels different. So I immediately started playing around with settings and these are my favorite. I'm gonna show you guys two options and I'm gonna get right into it. The first one is what I use. The second one is a more fast paced that I see a lot of streamers use. But just to hop right into it, guys, the only thing I'm changing in the beginning, I'm going look sensitivity down to 4.5 for vertical and horizontal. For my zoom levels, I'm gonna keep everything the exact same besides the 10X and the 6X, I'm gonna bring that sensitivity down to 0.8. Now for the center dead zone, everything here, I feel like you just need to pull it back a little, just pull it down. The default settings just feel way too high. So I'm gonna go for both thumbsticks, I'm gonna go eight, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna go nine, eight, eight. So center dead zone nine, max input eight, axial dead zone eight, and that's for both, both thumbsticks. I'm going nine, eight, eight. It's just something that I felt, you know, was efficient. Everything else is going to be default. I'm not going to change too much here. Now for field of view in the video settings, this is a must. Make sure you go ahead and max that out. You could get away with doing 100 or 110, but I like to play 120. By default, they have it at 72, and that is just insane. For minimum and maximum frame rate, I have 3060. I feel like I could tweak this to make it better. So please let me know in the comments if you guys change that. And as far as graphics, I didn't change any of this. I assume that they had our best interest in mind. So I'm going medium down the board. There's a few that they had high at default, so I'm gonna keep that that way. Um, now these two, it's totally up to you. I've had a lot of people in my chat today during my Halo stream tell me that they put, brought these down to zero. So that is something you can do, blur and screen shake. It probably will help you. But disclaimer, I keep these both at 100. So that's what I do. So it's something that you can tweak with. I'm not saying change this to this or, uh, or, you know, it's totally up to you. That's totally one of those settings that I don't think matters too much. It's totally going to be preference or maybe I'm the stupid one and I'm doing it wrong. Now for volume, this is also something that personally I could find some better settings for. There's, I know there's ways to get better sound horse settings and things like that to be able to hear footsteps. So I'm going to start experimenting with this. Please let me know in the comments if you've had anything better, but music, we're going down to eight and then hit detection and environmental. I'm thinking we can drop that down to six and footsteps will still be loud. If one of these are considered footsteps, then I'm gonna have to change this. Uh, so don't take my word for the audio settings. Everything else is good. Audio, I'm still experimenting with, so I just wanted to be transparent with you. And then everything else, we're keeping default here. Now to option two. So I saw a few streamers using these settings, um, and I wanted to make a video about it for you guys. You know, I was told to try these settings. It wasn't for me. But pretty much, again, the sensitivity, that's totally up to you guys. This is more for dead zones. But what these settings are, look acceleration max out to five. And then you're gonna have look sensitivity, um, both for vertical and horizontal, up to 8.5. And again, that's totally up to you. You can tweak that. These are higher settings. I showed you mine, which are lower. I wanted to give you the best of both worlds. Center dead zone, they're playing 11.5 and then 00, zero for both. So 11.5 for center and center, and then 00, zero for both sticks. Um, so I wanted to give you guys again both ends of the spectrum. I've tried both. I personally like option one more You can mix them up too if you like the sensitivity on this one, but you like my dead zones tweak it But I hope these dead zone settings helped you guys out um, I wanted to get this video out pretty early I know if you guys are anything like myself We were desperate to figure out some settings that felt natural and I think I may have found an option or two That'll help so enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you guys come by the stream sometime. Peace out have their stories they be made up I can't believe in cap tragedies